we're going to do something a little bit different today. So the Lord has asked me to pray about many different topics. He has told me exactly what to say for this prayer. And so I'm just asking all of you to come into agreement with this prayer because the prayers of the righteous are powerful and effective. The faith-filled prayers of the righteous are powerful and effective. And I know that if we all come into agreement with this, heaven and earth is going to move. So the first thing I want to pray about right now, Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray against abortion right now. We pray against those who are dealing with the shame of abortions that they've already had. We pray that you would lift the shame off their shoulders, Lord. We pray that you would give them deliverance from every spirit that came in as a result of that abortion. We pray that you would bring them to repentance, Lord, but that you would let them know today through your ministering angels that they are forgiven. Pray for anybody that's contemplating abortion right now specifically young mothers who don't know how they will afford to live i pray for provision i pray for the lord to open up the storehouses of heaven to provide for them for making the right decision to keep that child i pray for strength supernatural strength to carry them through even if they're going about this alone and they have no support lord i pray that you would send them support I pray that you would send them godly fellowship. I pray that you would send them a, a support network that will help them to get through this. And not only to get through this, but to be able to survive, Lord. I pray for peace. Peace that surpasses all understanding to come over them right now to let them know that all will be well. All will be well and that you will take care of them, and that you will order their steps, and that you will provide for their every need if they will just follow your word, if they will just heed your word, if they will just receive your word. And again, I pray you send ministering angels out to their location right now to tell them all the reasons why they need to keep that child. I pray, Lord God, that you remove all fear, all fear associated with raising a child, all fear associated with where they're going to live and how they're going to survive and who's going to take care of them and what kind of a parent they're going to be, especially if they didn't have good examples in their household growing up. I pray that your perfect love would expel all that fear. Lord God Almighty, I want to also pray for those who were victims of a rape. I pray for their healing right now. I pray for their healing right now. From that shame, from that humiliation, from that guilt, from that confusion, whatever it is that came in, that came upon them as a result of being violated, I pray for deliverance. I pray for ministering angels to speak a word to them right now to let them know it's not your fault. It was never your fault. I pray for their shame to be lifted. Shame lift off their shoulders right now in the name of Jesus. I pray for the lies of the enemy that told them that they brought this on themselves somehow to be cast down and trampled under our feet right now in the name above any other name, in the name at which every knee will bow and every tongue confess that he is Lord in the matchless and most mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray against poverty. I pray, Lord God, that you will even the scales. Things are out of balance today, Lord. I pray that you would even the scales. I pray that everyone would have more than enough. I pray that the wicked and the rich elites would be demoted from their positions of power right now. Right now, pull the plug on their influence. Pull the plug. Mm -hmm. Pull the plug, Lord God, on their influence right now. All the rich elites, all the wicked people, who have so many people under their oppressive thumb because of the power that they've been given, that they've done nothing but abuse. I pray for clean drinking water. 
for people in places that don't have it. I pray for water filtration systems to be brought into those communities. I pray for deliverance from the diseases that came upon the people in these places because of toxic water consumption. I pray for electricity and running water in places where they do not have them. I pray for missionaries to make their way into those villages, those countries, those islands, and bring them the supplies that they so desperately need. I pray for resources in abundance. I pray for protection from outside attacks. A lot of these people don't even have locks on their doors. I pray, Lord God, that you would surround their property as with a wall of fire, Lord. I pray for protection from outside attacks. I pray, Lord, that you would hide them from looters and rebels. Hide them in a cleft of a rock where no demon or devil can find them. Or anybody that would seek to do them harm. I pray for the lost, those lost and without hope in the world, those who do not know the transformational power of God, those who do not know their Lord, Savior, and Creator, Jesus Christ. I pray for the lost right now to experience his love, his love that is unfathomable until you experience it for yourself. I pray for them to hear a word that changes them forever, an in-season or out-of-season word that changes them forever. I pray for them to be drawn to the throne of grace. Draw them, Father. Draw them to the throne of grace. Draw them to the feet of Jesus. May they feel that, feel that pull and tug on their heart right now as I'm speaking. I pray for blind eyes to see. Let the scales fall off their eyes and deaf ears to hear. I pray for blind eyes to see and deaf ears to hear right now. I pray for the veil to be removed from every foolish and darkened heart. I pray for the veil to be removed from foolish and darkened hearts. I pray for a spiritual awakening. Awaken them, Lord. Talitha Kumi, rise up and walk. Speak to them in a still, small, audible voice. Talitha Kumi, rise up and walk. Talitha Kumi, rise up and walk. I pray for seared consciences. Seared consciences to be restored right now. I pray for seared consciences to be restored in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for debased and depraved minds to be healed and renewed right now in the name of Jesus. I am taking up the authority that I've been given to trample on serpents and scorpions, and I command every demon and devil to get under our feet right now for anybody who has a debased and depraved mindset and has been trying to look for the Lord and can't seem to find him. Ooh, I pray for them to be healed and renewed right now. Ooh, I pray for them to have a hunger and a thirst for righteousness like never before. I pray that they would have an increased hunger like never before for the word of God. I pray for those in torment to find out where true peace and rest for their enemies can be found. I pray that they will find that out today. Hallelujah. I pray for them to have the mind of Christ. I pray that they will be able equipped and learn how to take every thought captive that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bring it into the obedience of their Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I pray for anybody that's battling with any kind of mental illness or affliction right now. Anyone who is battling from any kind of mental illness or affliction right now, I pray for that heaviness of depression and anxiety to be lifted. I pray for the heaviness of anxiety and depression to be lifted. The Bible says he gives us a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, so I ask for an exchange, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness right now. I pray for restlessness and intrusive thoughts to cease and be no more restlessness and intrusive thoughts that are not your own to seize and beat no more in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ I pray for deliverance for anyone battling with night terrors night terrors those painful memories of the past demonic dreams sexual dreams you want no part of and insomnia I pray for them to cease in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I pray for them to come to an end today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and by the shed blood 
that he poured out for each and every one of us on the cross 2,000 years ago. Hallelujah. I pray for those with narcissistic personality disorder. And when I say that, I'm talking about somebody who has actually been diagnosed or believed to be someone with narcissistic narcissistic personality disorder and sociopathy to come out of darkness into the Lord's marvelous light today. Hallelujah. I pray for them to come out of darkness into his marvelous light. I pray for them to be transported from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. Hallelujah. I pray for those with disassociative disorders. I pray that the split in their mind that happened as a result of unimaginable trauma be healed, mended, and made whole in the name of Jesus. I pray right now against human trafficking. Human trafficking, I pray for every location. Every location harboring a man, woman, or child against their will to be exposed expediently. I pray for the IP addresses that were formerly concealed by the dark web to be revealed by the Lord God of heaven's armies. I pray for God's wrath to find their houses. And these are not my words. These are the Lord's. I pray for the Lord God to avenge the children. I pray for the Lord God to avenge the children who are being trafficked who are being used for unimaginable evil. I pray for the healing for those children from every abuse that they have suffered. I pray for every form of neglect. I pray for them to be healed of every form of neglect, every word curse ever spoken over them. I pray, Lord God, that you would renew their minds, renew their minds, Jesus, from all perversion all confusion and from the things they have seen, heard, or experienced that traumatized them and caused fear. I pray, Lord God Almighty, for your perfect love to cast out that fear right now. I pray for your perfect love to cast out all fear that came in as a result of unimaginable trauma in these children right now. I pray for complete freedom from identity confusion and anything trying to steal, kill, or destroy their authenticity. In Jesus' name. And Father, I thank you, and I say let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen.